Hi there, Libra, Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your June 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy from Innistars by Chrissy.com. So, yeah, June is a big month. June is all about all the retrograde planets, but because you are Libra, means you are also Venus ruled people. So I kind of feel that, you know, a lot of Libra people are going to feel this a little bit more intensely because astrology wise, Venus is actually invisible and retrograde at the same time. And it is going to be hitting on with the eclipses that are going on as well. We do have one recently, just yesterday, and you will also have another eclipse at the middle of June. And I kind of feel that, you know, since Eclipse is going to affect the Sun and the Moon each time and because, you know, Venus is going to be active all those periods, this is going to be affecting you in various ways. It could be affecting you personally, your energy-wise or in your relationships as well because Venus is all about our, you know, what feels good to us, our aura, our personality and our relationships and finances as well so let's take a look on what's really going to be manifesting for the month of june for you guys libra again this is just a general reading so it may or may not tune in to the rest of all types of libra out there i just cannot stress this enough and the only way to be you know very specific to you is to get a personal reading with your trusted reader or you can always book a, se a session to my website in the stars by chrissy.com so um we have the queen of wands as our first card of the reading and the queen of wands is really more a very charming and optimistic type of energy it's um you know it's a very self-confident type of card and i kind of feel that this is the card that you have right now because for some of you maybe you are building some form of confidence or you are regaining and gaining back some form of energy that you have already lost in the past it is being crossed over by the ten of swords so i always view the ten of swords as a very chaotic moment or some form of disappointment um, but in this combination though, I would say that it's not really more of a disappointment. It's manifesting as some form of chaos in, in the energy field that you're dealing with right now. So uh, because we do have this, you know, the page of swords at the foundation of the reading, the page of cups at the top of the reading. So it makes me feel that, you know, at the surface, it seems as if everything is working out very well and you are you know communicating with people and having a lot of conversations to various people in your life but internally though there's se there seems something a bit maybe missing or maybe something or someone is disrupting your own energy because of this ten of swords so it could be you're dealing with a lot of people but maybe you're all emotionally there's also some form of unhappiness or disappointment that you are dealing and facing inside of you so there is some form of inner turmoil that we are sensing here another way this can manifest is that you know maybe you're talking to a lot of people engaging to a lot of people having a lot of social activities but at the same time you are having a lot of doubts with life with your life with relationships because remember that the page of swords is also the card of not trusting people this is a card wherein you're trying to doubt people maybe you're not giving your full trust in them even though you're showing people that hey i trust you hey this is my aura this is my energy this is how i am i'm friendly i'm nice I am little miss perfect <laughs> or I am you know just that girl next door but at the same time inner the inner things inside of you things are getting a little bit more complex and complicated 
also the page of swords is you know it's like there's something that you are trying to hide within yourself and everything's in your mind so maybe there's a lot of things that you're thinking about a lot of thoughts brewing in your mind that maybe you don't have answers on this can also be manifesting wherein there is some form of lower energy surrounding you at this time maybe because of the venus invisible that kind of energy because uh, venus can definitely create an effect on you um energy wise you know maybe you have your own issues with self-confidence low love low self-esteem maybe you're worried about your image your your how you are seen by people those kinds of things might be coming up wanting to be beautiful could be coming to the surface as well or this could be a situation wherein there is something that is bothering you when it comes to your love life like yes maybe maybe you are desiring something very particular to occur into your love life but you're not exactly um seeing them happen in reality or maybe there is something that you need to decide on in when it comes to your love life and relationships but you don't know if this is the right choice to make or not we do have the eight of swords at the near future position wherein you know you feel like stuck maybe there is something that feels stuck um there is you know one way or another i feel that there could be some form of health unhealthy situation manifesting in your life i mean i'm not here to say what is unhealthy or not healthy but with the eight of swords showing up in the reading it makes me feel as if you know you are not doing something that you fully agree on it's like maybe you're forced to do something or maybe you don't have a choice or maybe you're not entirely happy with the decisions that you are doing at this time and maybe this retrograde season and maybe the month of june is going to make you really evaluate what you really want to do with your life you know what will make you happy who is going to be making you happy all of those kinds of things are things that you need to discover and maybe rediscover as you go on through the month this is a time for you to reharmonize things rebalance your own energy it does show us here that in the past things have been you know in a happy-go-lucky streak but the month of june is like preparing you to 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 move forward with your life maybe to move on with your life and to you know do something progressive in your life because i kind of feel that maybe the past few months for you you're trying to just feel good that maybe there is some form of healing events that has been happening maybe it's all good and you know there is just a thin line with feeling good and being realistic with things you know sometimes what feels good is not even going to manifest in a very logical way it's like it's like you know um yes you're feeling good by watching a movie but it's not like watching a movie is the only thing that can make you feel good i mean in 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 the real world in the reality eventually you need to stop watching movies right so it has that same analogy you know maybe there is something that you need to make a, deci a decision on that is very very serious that can help you to progress in your life forward but it is a decision that you have to consider very seriously that kind of thing right now it is showing us here that not everything is all in the heart you need to use my, your mind you need to use your intellect your witness and you really need to think about the pros and cons of things we do have the justice card here it's a, a very balanced card where you try to see all the scenarios involved so you might need have to question yourself if the things that you have been doing in the past uh, were there the right decisions to make 
or maybe some form of opportunity right now will show up in your life that will maybe allow you to um, maybe make another decision that can salvage a certain situation you know it could be something very personal it could be something in the relationship but there is a chance for you to change things and to alter the course of your life and the relationships and with how you deal with the relationship itself so it has it there is some form of seriousness here all at the same time we do have the knife pentacles over here with the other person energy and circumstances so this could be a situation maybe an offer is going to be coming into your life that gives some form of disruption <laughs> it could be a new person in your life it could be an old person but there's definitely going to be a news or offer that is going to be presenting themselves to you that you really really need to consider very seriously we do have the two of swords over here we're in you know the two of swords is like the thinking card and a point of you really make, need to make a decision are you going to follow your heart or are you going to follow your mind or do you need to take both of them into consideration it is showing us here that you have this three of swords at as the last card of the deck which means that there is really something that you know maybe um you're taking into heart you know maybe you have been greatly disappointed in the past to a point wherein you're not giving um, a chance for any future developments in terms of your love or your love life this could be a time of healing or this could be a time for you to you know make a decision to open yourself again to maybe um, someone new or open yourself again to love again to be in a relationship again you're, s you're starting to open yourself up i feel and for many of you this is a point of healing and you know a point of taking a step forward with your life you the overall card here is the devil card so eventually this is all telling us that you are going to make a decision that you are meant to do in the first place <laughs> and who is meant for you is definitely going to show up in your life maybe someone very significant maybe someone very important maybe a soulmate or a past life relationship is going to come up in your life and i'm not talking about literally a past person though it might show up that way I'm also talking about, you know, um, in a very spiritual level, this person could be someone you had a past life together. You know, you might encounter this powerful bond to someone. This can also be manifesting wherein uh, you end up, you know, feeling stuck of seeing the past person in your life entering your life again. And you don't know if... <laughs> Um, if going back with them would be the right choice or will, will it be some form of suicide <laughs> again making you feel miserable then you need to make a de decision uh, for yourself about this scenario um, with the devil card and the fortune card all together it's really telling us some form of faith and some form of wheel is definitely turning up forward to change something in your life and relationships and the way that you are dealing with relationships in the past needs to change for sure we do have this um sagittarius in, and the south node in your fourth house so some form of a, um eclipse triggering is happening right there in your fourth house and when it comes to love and relationship this is about foundations about your emotions foundations about your feelings as a whole so there's definitely some form of healing taking place and some form of breakthrough and breaking free is happening for you in a very internal level especially if you have experienced a lot of pain in the past this is a, a great time for healing and a chance for you 
to start a new beginning and a new phase as you enter the month of July because definitely you will see a lot of things moving forward and a lot of, event of events can actually manifest for you in a very hopefully positive way as well so um yeah the devil card you know is a very magnetic attractive you know it's like you know um, meeting someone that you cannot resist or finding someone that you are strongly attracted with and sometimes this is like a faith or karmic scenario we're in um there is some form of situation that cannot be avoided you know, no matter what you try no matter, matter no matter what decisions you make you end up with that kind of result and i'm not saying this in a bad way i'm saying this in a good way i'm saying that you know sometimes you will just end up telling yourself that what is meant for you is actually meant for you and they will never pass you by that is <laughs> this is one of the biggest example of this because i feel that even though that you have been broken in the past and maybe you wanted to be single and all of that and you don't want any relationship the relationship itself is still going to look for you and maybe that is just your faith and that is maybe your your path in life so um yeah so you are going to make some form of bond definitely no matter it's a new person or an old person i'm not telling you to decide now but do not resist the change and do not resist everything just go to the flow think about it and then you know look inside of your heart what is meant for you is definitely going to present itself to you and you don't even need to try to make an effort about it <laughs> So um yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. If you do like a more private reading and to take a look on personally about your situation, you can do so by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com and I shall see you guys again next month. Bye.